So I, I won't even bother to ask you whether waterboarding counts as torture under our laws, because I know from your letter that um, we won't get a, a straight answer. So let me ask you this. Would waterboarding be torture if it was done to you? Um, I would feel that it was. Um, there are numerous. I remember studying Latin in school, and, and one of the people I studied was Cicero. And Cicero used to, when he made speeches, would list all the things he was going to pass over without mentioning, and then he would pass over without mentioning them. And a lot of that is in your, is in your question. You say, I'm going to pass by this and not ask you about it, and pass by that and not ask you about it. Um, there are numerous things that I would differ with. Um, you say that waterboarding is obviously torture, um, and you use the example of taking something, bank robbery, obviously being stealing. That assumes, of course, the answer to the question, which is that, that, torch, that, that waterboarding is, in fact, torture, just the same way that, that bank robbery is, in fact, stealing. Um, I think there are numerous other things that I would argue with. I simply point out that this is an issue on which people of equal intelligence um, and equal good faith and equal vehemence have differed, and have differed within this chamber um, during the debate on the Military Commissions Act when some people thought that it was unnecessary, some people thought that it obviously barred um, waterboarding, other people thought that it was so broadly worded that it would allow anything, and there were expressions on both sides. Um, I should not go into, because of the office that I have, the detailed way in which the department would apply general language to a particular situation. Um, notably, when I'm presented only with, an act, with, a, with, a, with a question that tells me only part of what I would be asked to rule on if I were, were ever asked to well, rule on. Well, let me, uh, let me <coughs> as you know, uh, the Director of National Intelligence, Admiral McConnell, stated if I had water draining in my nose, oh God, I just can't imagine how painful, whether it's torture by anybody else's definition, for me waterboarding would be torture. Now let me, you, you say uh, f facts and circumstances. Let me ask you, uh, under what fa facts and circumstances exactly would it be lawful to waterboard a prisoner? For me to answer that question would be for me to do precisely what I said I shouldn't do because I would be, number one, imagining facts and circumstances that are not present, um, and thereby telling our enemies exactly what they can expect in those, in, those, in those eventualities. Those eventualities may never occur. I would also be telling people in the field, when I'm not faced with a particular situation, what they have to refrain from or not refrain from in a situation that is not performing. Um, and in situations that they may find analogous. Um, I shouldn't do either one of those. Well, let me uh, ask then finally, are there any interrogation uh, techniques uh, that you would uh, find to be uh, illegal, fundamentally illegal? There are statutes that describe specifically, there, are, there is a whole list of specifically barred techniques. But waterboarding isn't on that list. It's not. Okay, let me go to another issue.